this part, I will focus on the programming model that comes with Alpaca, which is called a single source programming model. So in parallel programming, there are basically two different programming styles. One is called single source and one is called split source. From a programmer's point of view, the single source is probably more intuitive. You just write your ordinary program with its ordinary functions and somewhere in between you also embed the kernel you want to put on your accelerator. However, there's also the split source programming style, most prominently featured in OpenCL, where you have your normal host program and a totally different part of the uh, overall code base, you have your kernel. This is usually done in uh, the form of special scripts that are then loaded at runtime, but this uh, second part of the code base can also be there in the form of strings, for example. Uh, however, the, the host code or the uh, normal code and the kernel code are totally separate and don't know anything of each other. So the single source programming model is more or less the standard C++ programming style. The kernel is embedded in your application's code. Yeah, this allows for easy reuse of common functionality and also uh, this has a benefit of a lower API complexity. The split source programming model is different from standard C++ style because you need to maintain two separate code bases. Uh, the kernel and application code are separate. This, this means that they by default don't share any information Depending on how split source is implemented by the programming model, this may also lead to code duplication. For example, if you want to share functions between your kernel code and your application code. And also the API requires additional mechanisms to load and execute the kernel and may, maybe even compile and link the kernel. In Alpaca, we feature the single source programming model, so uh, it should be quite intuitive to use for the normal programmer. Apaka is also portable across different ecosystems. At compilation time, Apaka kernels are transformed into the native kernels of the underlying platforms. So if you write an Apaka kernel for, uh, for NVIDIA GPU, this will be transformed to a native CUDA kernel at compile time. The same goes for AMD GPUs. If you have an Apaka kernel and put it into the AMD compiler, in the end, there will be a native HIP kernel that will be actually run on the accelerator. This also means that Apaka is fully compatible with the uh, vendor's ecosystems. This is a big difference to, for example, OpenCL or SQL on NVIDIA GPUs, because OpenCL and SQL are not native CUDA kernels under the hood. Uh, the CUDA tools, like the debugger and profiler, can't uh, um, analyze these kernels that come with OpenCL or SQL. However, with Apaka, you can use the full CUDA ecosystem and uh, profile or debug your work. This all comes at no extra cost. Most of the work is done at compile time and uh, most of it is also inlined by the compiler and it does not hurt portability in any way. For example, if you look closely, this is um, a Paka program profiled by the NVIDIA Insight profiler. You can see that this uh, Apaka creates quite the convoluted kernel name. So this large string in the yellow field here is a single function name, but you can still profile it and you can uh, analyze this kernel and uh, you know, debug it and so on. Again, this is uh, the difference to the CUDA, uh, to the OpenCL and SQL tools on NVIDIA GPUs. The same is true if you want to use the Intel VTune profiler to uh, analyze your code on CPUs or on, on Intel CPUs. Most of the time, Apaka functions will actually be inlined, so you won't see them at all in the profiler because the compiler does a good job at optimizing stuff. But if it happens to not inline any Apaka functions, you can actually uh, see them in the, comp uh, in the profiler and the debugger as well. Okay, are there any questions about this part? Ah, Just yes. one, maybe. Yeah. 
So does this mean that uh, Alpaca cannot uh, leverage a single um, split source API under the hood, or does it uh, automatically split uh, the right source in that case? No, uh, we don't use split source models under the hood. We only okay. feature single source models. Okay. Okay. 